God says. We bake in for someone to love us despite all of our flaws. We've already found that person, no matter what we've done, the mistakes we've made, the sins we've committed, the people we've hurt. God forgives us for everything. We don't understand why, and we know we don't deserve it. But he does it because he truly loves us. We don't understand right now, and we have anxiety for what our future holds, but God already has it planned out for us. It's up to us to have faith in his plan for us. We have to trust him. Tie 333 to affirm this. Sometimes God doesn't say anything to humble us. If we knew everything and never had to depend on God, we would not include him in life. We would see no need to rely on him. Therefore, we would lack a relationship with him. Sometimes we need to trust that God will answer and reveal things to us only when he sees that our heart will still be in need of him solely because of wanting a relationship with our Father, not because of what he can give us. Whether it's wisdom we seek, or a blessing in finances or relationship improvement, or whatever it could be. We can only see true improvement in our circumstances when we trust in the way God wants to make things happen, according to his will, not according to our plans, and on his timing, not ours. Tai, I love you, Lord, to affirm trusting God, and refusing to complain during hard times greatly honours him. It is of no value to talk of how much we trust God only when all is well, but when difficulty comes, then we should say and sincerely mean, I trust you, Lord. He delights in a contented child. I have come to believe being content is one of the greatest ways we can glorify him. Be content where you are while you are waiting for what you want or need. Trust in him. Don't wait until everything is perfect before you decide to enjoy your everyday life. Trust God and be content regardless of your circumstances. Tai, I trust the divine plan to affirm. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. I know God is real because I've seen him in the face of a stranger being kind to me and reaching out a hand when I didn't want to try any more. I've heard God when I go to church and the preacher happens to talk about exactly what I'm going through or when I turn on the radio randomly and a song is playing that calms me and is just what I need to hear. I've prayed and received no answer but I've also prayed and received many answers. He's not going to walk in and sit down in front of us but he is always with us, activate the flow of unlimited good, wealth, happiness, pleasure, freedom and confidence into your life by making one tiny change to your morning routine. Would you want it? Check link in comments below to know the wealth secrets to attract an abundance of wealth. Subscribe our channel if you love God. In the moments when you feel you are unloved, unnoticed and insignificant, remember who you are to Jesus because of his great love for you. Never a day in your life will you go unnoticed, unvalued or unloved. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you. God says, Jesus will always be there and will never leave you, even if it sometimes seems he is far away. The truth is he is closer than your next breath. You never will be unloved, unnoticed or unvalued because Jesus is constantly present, mindful of you in every moment, and so passionately and constantly loves you. Lean into his love, have faith in it, remain in it, and allow it to consume you completely. Never forget his love is close, and that's where it will always stay. Tie 666 if you've needed this. Our whole relationship with God is built on faith. The entire relationship requires faith to even function because we can't see him, but we believe in his power, love, protection and presence. So you have to believe that he has it all worked out for you too. Otherwise, you don't really believe in him, do you? 
The relationship requires full dependence and full surrender. You can't compartmentalize. You can't believe in him, but not believe he has your back and holds your future. You can't say you believe in him, but still run around relying on your own ambition or power or plans or looking around at what you see and don't see. When God says he loves you, he thinks good things of you. He wants abundance for you. You have to believe that because doubting that means doubting his love is existence. Tai, I am evolving to affirm. God is good all the time. It's such a beautiful saying because it's so true. God is always good, but that doesn't mean that life will always be good. The world is full of sin. People are going to hurt you, and things are going to be hard sometimes. But that saying is a reminder that God will always be good. He will always be a faithful provider. As long as we remember that, he will be our strength and support us through everything. He will use our adversity to make us stronger, and he will use it in his plan. He will take our brokenness and make it beautiful. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. I lay down my need to understand why things happen the way they do. I lay down my fears about others walking away and taking their love with them. I lay down my desire to prove my worth. I lay down my resistance to fully trust your thoughts, your ways, and your plans, Lord. I lay down being so self-consumed in an attempt to protect myself. I lay down my anger, unforgiveness, and stubborn ways that beg me to build walls when I sense hints of rejection. I lay all these things down with my broken boards, and ask that your holy fire consume them until they become weightless sashes. And as I walk away, my soul feels safe, held, and truly free to finally be me. Tai 888 Remember, dear viewers, God's blessings come in mysterious ways. You are a treasured child of God, destined to bring light into the lives of others. May joy, peace, and abounding happiness accompany you always. Jesus says, As you surrender your heart to me, I will purify it with my love. From its depths, my love, peace, and overflowing joy will radiate to everyone you encounter. In times of financial distress, remember that God is your refuge. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you. Jesus says, As you surrender your heart to me, I will purify it with my love. From its depths, my love, peace, and overflowing joy will radiate to everyone you encounter. In times of financial distress, remember that God is your refuge. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.